Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Nighttime with Nina. Uh, if you read our weekly email, you saw that we are going to be starting some um, chapter book read-alouds. I think that you can expect those later this week. We'll do those on different days than we do Nighttime with Nina. And I'll probably just share them on YouTube so that you can listen to them when you want to. Chapter books maybe aren't as quite as exciting to watch because there aren't any pictures. It will just be you listening to someone reading, but it will be available if you want to have somebody read to you while you're doing other things. But today we are reading a traditional storybook. This one is called T-Rexes Can't Tie Their Shoes. And here we go. If you're still a bit small, it is no fun at all when you can't reach a shelf or get dressed by yourself. But you're not alone, my dear friend. It is true. Some things are hard for animals, too. A hopscotching horse or kung fu kangaroo? There are lots of things animals just cannot do. Alligators can't pick apples. Bees can't ride bicycles. Cheetahs can't chew bubblegum. Dogs can't wash dishes. That looks like our dog Bubble and you're right, he cannot wash dishes. Elephants cannot fit in elevators. Woo! Foxes can't flip pancakes. Looks like they're all stuck on the ceiling. Giraffes can't do gymnastics. I don't know. A book I've read on here before, Giraffes Can't Dance, we learned that giraffes really can dance. Horses can't play hopscotch. Iguanas can't eat ice cream. Jaguars can't do jumping jacks. <laughs> Kangaroos can't practice kung fu. Oh yeah, it wasn't a board he was chopping, it was his tail. But look at the little baby kangaroo. Llamas can't play leapfrog. Monkeys can't do magic tricks. I don't know, monkeys might be good at magic tricks. Who knows? Narwhals can't eat nachos. Oh, that one might be my favorite. That is really funny. Owls can't fold origami. Penguins can't play ping pong. Quetzals can't keep quiet. Raccoons can't ride roller coasters. You must be this tall to ride. Seahorses can't sing. T-Rexes can't tie their shoes. Poor T-Rexes. There's a lot of things they can't do. Urchins can't open umbrellas. Vampire bats can't vacuum. <laughs> Walruses can't make waffles. Xenopses can't play xylophones. Yaks can't throw yo-yos. Can't even see yo-yos. And zebras can't go ziplining. But they can have a lot of fun trying. The end. Oh, but this all tells us all the things animals can do. So, alligators can grow new teeth. Bees can dance. Cheetahs can run really fast. Dogs can see in the dark. Elephants make their own sunscreen. It's mud. Foxes are good listeners. Giraffes can sleep standing up. Horses can walk as newborn babies. Iguanas can grow a new tail. Jaguars can swim and hold their breath underwater. Kangaroos can jump really far. Llamas can carry a lot of stuff. Monkeys can balance and use their tails to pick up things. Narwhals can change color. 
It's as they get older. It's not just whenever they want to. Owls can turn their heads almost all the way around. I can't do that. Penguins can camouflage themselves. Quetzals can grow fancy feathers. Raccoons are very smart and can solve puzzles. Seahorses can help build robots. T-Rexes could chomp. Their arms are too short to put food in their mouth, so they would just bite down on it with their mouths. Urchins can live for a long time in the ocean for more than 200 years. Vampire bats can sleep upside down. Walruses can live in the very cold. Xenopses can hammer. Those are those birds that can't play xylophones, but they can use their beak to hammer. Yaks can live very high up. And zebras can be scanned like a barcode. Every zebra has a stripe pattern that is unique. Scientists can use software to scan the stripes and identify each zebra in a herd. So maybe there's things that you can't do, but there's lots of things you can do, things that make you unique and different than anybody else. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on Thursday for another Nighttime with Nina. Good night!